welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're going to be teaching you how to make, um, what's it called? Coffee flavored macarons. Oh yeah, yeah, coffee. Uh, coffee flavored macarons. So we've always heard that making macarons is very complicated, but after doing some research, we actually found that it's not very complicated to make. Uh, you just need to be patient and it should take you about two hours to make them. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Tony's gonna show you all the ingredients that you're gonna need, so just keep watching. All right, so the first thing you're gonna need is almond flour. Um, are you gonna tell them why it doesn't say that on there? Oh, yeah, um, so it doesn't say almond flour because we couldn't find it at the commissary, so we had to get it at, at our local German store. The next thing you're gonna need is um, confectioner's sugar or powdered sugar. It's the same thing. Yeah. Espresso powder. Finely ground sea salt or table salt if you don't have any. Room temperature butter. Three eggs. A quarter cup of sugar. We're gonna leave all the measurements down below, but uh, we're gonna be using a scale because we really wanna get it you know, very precise for you, but we'll leave all that information down below. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Zero it out. Go ahead, babe. All right, so uh, before we get started, it's very important that once you put your container or wherever you're gonna put your flour and your, your sugar, uh, you want to make sure it's zeroed out. So even though Jen already uh, zeroed it out prior to putting that on there, um, now it actually has a reading. So, so basically, I, I zeroed it out before it had to be zeroed out. So don't be like me, be like Tony. <laughs> All right. So it doesn't matter what order you get them in, as long as you get them in there. Oh, and we're sifting it because you want to make sure that you get out all like the little hard pieces and stuff like that. So um, if you have a sifter, then definitely this is the time to use it. Yeah, we got um, an almond flour that's ground like super fine, which is awesome. It's going to help your macarons come out like super soft on the top, like no bumps, anything like that. Um, so if you can get your hands on a really fine ground one, do that. Or you can always use like a food processor and ground it up some more. Boom. Right on the money. Boom. Um. Uh oh. No, I spilled some. Okay. Alright, so part of working with flour, you gotta make a mess. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and move on to the powdered sugar. And I'm gonna zero out my scale again. <laughs> You want to give it a shot? Sure. Okay, my arm's getting tired. I got it. It's, it. it's all on the wrist. <laughs> it works better Tony's way, so just another little tip for you guys. <laughs> How much is this one? Two. Two sixteen. I think. Yeah, that sounds right. Nice. 
Okay, so we need the salt next. Okay. Make sure you set it like super, super fine. Oh, I love nice. that it has like its own grinder. It's so cool. Yeah, that looks kind of Yeah, that bigger. still looks... That still looks a little big. You want more snacks? More. more snacks? Hold on, guys. Okay. We actually got a molcajete at Ikea. So I'm just going to put some salt in there and grind it up so we can get it finer. see this but it's, it's like powder like yeah. that works <laughs> very very well if you follow me on instagram or you follow our like what is it called our page <laughs> if you Oops. follow me or if you follow our like cooking instagram oh. then you'll have seen that i posted when i opened it and i was just like super excited about it now like I'm obsessed. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get back into this. Okay. Let's do it. So six, six, six grams. grams. Guys, always clean as you go or like put stuff away because it makes it so much easier at the end especially like with doing these videos you have to clean as you go or else it's just a disaster at the end <laughs> so yeah, that, that, looks, looks good. that looks well combined so just oh, so. you know whisk it together a little bit and make sure that your sugar and the flour and the salt is all well combined we don't want to take a bite and get like all that salt in that one bite so just make sure you yeah, mix yeah. it all together all right, so we're gonna go ahead and move over there and whisk up our eggs. Whisk up. Okay guys, so at this point when you see soft peaks, you wanna go ahead and start adding in your quarter cup of sugar. This is like the regular granulated sugar. And you're gonna add it in a little at a time. Just keep watching, we're gonna show you how to do it.
Okay guys, so our egg whites are ready and we went ahead and mixed in the espresso into our flour mixture and now we're just gonna go ahead and combine the two. It's best if you use a spatula like this one and you wanna go ahead and just like fold it in. I'm gonna show you how to fold it in um, slowly. Don't be too rough with it and yeah, just um, I'll show you when it's ready. You basically want it to look like lava. I know that's weird. A lot of people don't know what lava looks like. I didn't know either, but <laughs> we're just gonna go, we're gonna figure it out together, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and pour this all in here. You can do it all at once. But you basically wanna do like the around and down, around and down, and just keep doing it. So I'm working to incorporate the eggs into the flour mixture and now that it's almost there we're going to try to start making those figure eights. As you can see we did achieve it. Uh, this is that lava texture that I was talking about earlier. If you can make a figure eight without breaking batter then you're good to go. Okay guys so I went ahead and put the mixture into a piping bag and you want to use a tip that's round like this one. Um, you can do it another way but I recommend doing it this way and we went ahead and printed out some templates um, with some little one and a half inch circles we'll link it in the description down below and then we put some parchment paper right on top so what I thought was parchment paper was actually wax paper and you don't want to use wax paper so I just went ahead and used my silicone baking mat So these are all done and they taste amazing. They actually taste better the second day. So if you can hold off, wait until the next day to eat them. If you have any requests, please leave them in the comments down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And also we're interested to know what's your favorite flavor of macarons. And the cat. A cat? Yeah. There's a cat on the wall. Oh. <laughs> oh.
a quarter cup of. That should be fine. <laughs> oh, that's fine. We have a lot of those. Is there a way? No, don't throw them. 